Hello everyone and welcome back to Steel Division 2! Today doing part 67 of playing every division in the game, we are looking at the 5th Gebirs Jager. And so the 5th was part of the renowned German Alpine troops, elite soldiers focused on mountain warfare. Having established themselves well on Crete, the Eastern Front and Monte Cassino, the formation proved, its, proved this work again during the combat at Gemamno, the Monte Cassino of the Adriatic Sea, in the summer of 1944. Lavishly equipped with SMGs and well trained, the battle group's Gebirs Jager infantry, including support weapons, featured the Raider trait. For much needed firepower, the 5th calls on captured Italian equipment such as the Otto Blinda 41 armored car, the Simo Vente assault guns. Um, etc. etc. Air power is also substantial with H HS-129 tank busters and BF-110 heavy fighters flying top cover. The 5th rely on the quality of its infantry, support and air forces as the lack of AA and AT unit is noticeable on the battlefield. So AA and AT, let's go look at... Oh boy. Hmm. <coughs> oh boy! <laughs> I'm not liking that very much. I guess we're gonna try to do with double star everything. Um, concentrate on a small area and then try to bring our fighters on top of, of the enemy fighters and then we'll have to deal with the bombers somehow. Uh, AT is lackluster, that is true. So we're gonna bring one in B, one in C, and then we're gonna go with Bazooka in A face. Wow, that's gonna be hard. Hopefully we don't go against the division like uh, First DFL or things like that. In terms of artillery, they're not doing too bad. I bet we're gonna need this off map, seeing as we don't have any AT and AA. So we are going to take the off map. We are going to take 120 mil and 81 mil as far as artillery goes. Now the Air Force will take two of the C205. Um, I guess we will take three of these dudes and two of these dudes. This could be good uh, to fight bombers and things like that. Um, let's say two of these is in phase A and I guess we're going to go with that. <coughs> let's see what else they have. Uh, Stug F42, the 75 one, 1500 meters. I don't want them. If only they were 2000, but they're not. And that's an assault gun. I don't want that either. LG42 is 2k range. Okay, so this we can actually work with. Actually, we'll, we'll take it in B face because I think we're going to need some cheap HE uh, help in, in uh, B face. <sighs> MG42s. We're going to take four of these tanks. Yeah, ouch. Well, we'll have six because I'm not taking these fuckers. Well, you know what? Maybe I will take it. You know, just in case there's a recon rush or things like that. And then we have these dudes. They're pretty good. And some recon infantry. We'll, we'll build our infantry first and see after. So the Gebers Jaggers are the mainline infantry, obviously. 4 MP, 5 G43. Yeah, yeah, I guess. They have these dudes. I don't really want to take them. Pioneers are going to be useful. Let's take five there. And then um, we're going to take some flamers. Um, I guess we could take these then. Or should we use... Oh my god. Bazooka leaders. Okay. We're taking leaders with our infantry. And we're going to take one card of 
32 availability just because um yeah just because so eight infantry plus five pioneers 16 okay we got two more points i guess it could go here like this for added infantry in phase a or it could have went for another plane but i don't think so I'm not really liking this deck. I'm gonna be honest, I'm... All right, so, um, I think we're gonna go with that. Give this Jaeger video. X Stark. Player X Stark was saying he had a lot of success with these dudes. Uh, I'm looking at it on paper. I'm not seeing it. I'm definitely not seeing that. It, they're like uh, t the 28 Jaggers, you know, glorified maybe, but. Maybe I should go for numbers instead. I'm definitely not going to have a lot in phase A. To defend myself. I do have these slow ass fucks. But I don't know. Ah fuck. I'm not liking those dead guys. I'm going to be honest. We have a lot of cards for support unit. But I don't know. They kind of. There's, there's not a lot available there. This sucks. It's not good. 75 mil. Eh. I think 32 cards is going to be enough. Uh, that gives us 4 points for something else. Tanks. Uh, wash. That's a tank. It, it's it's a machine gun. Uh, oh, good lord. Uh, maybe we could invest more in airplanes then. We have 4 of these guys. Or 4 of these. 200, 5, or 12. Just, just better. Get enough this and more airplane. Maybe I could take these guys out. I just feel like they're going to die easily in phase A. All right, let's uh, let's take them. I'm gonna go for numbers. So I guess we're gonna have a lot of uh, these simovente. God, I do not want to go into battle with that deck. Maybe the trick is to play them on Maverick. Have these dudes in phase A. Same thing with these dudes. Uh, if we're going to play Maverick, uh, no, let's keep this dude at 32. Okay, I think in Maverick it's going to make a bit more sense. I can take some good position in B face. I can take some good position in A phase, sorry, and then in B phase, kind of, you know, unleash as much as I can. And if I didn't succeed by then, then it's game over. And I'm trying to deal with the, with these guys and the pack 40s. Eight pack 40s should be enough. Okay, we're going to go the Maverick way. I know Bubba Ryan's going to be happy to hear that. Um... Okay, guys, this is the deck we're going for. I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing that later. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.